Okay, let's roll our, our, all our um, uh, variables up into our objective function. Now, with our objective function, um, same as our last, last lecture, it was 40x1 plus 50x2. And that was subject to three constraints, labor, clay, and customer requirements. So I kind of spread them out here so you can see how it all fits. But labor <clears throat> was a greater than or equal to. So we subtracted uh, surplus, we subtracted surplus, and we added an artificial. Clay, our second requirement, uh, we, added a uh, we added slack, so S2 is slack. And then the uh, customer requirements, our third requirement, we added an artificial because it's an equal to. Again, you could move these requirements around, but to keep the integrity of our equation, then you'd have to move the subscripts around too. Later on in simplex, we'll show you what each of these uh, means. Okay. So now we've I've rolled all the equations up into the objective function. Notice my objective function in standard form now is 40x1 plus 50x2 plus 0s1 plus 0s2 minus ma1 minus ma3. Um, of course, the uh, first thing people say is, hey, Ed, in the labor constraint, it's minus S1. Why is it plus 0 times S1 in the objective function? If you look down, uh, number 1 here, it's because it's just convention to use the positive. Uh, 0 is neither positive nor negative, so it really doesn't matter if we uh, have a negative 0 times S1 or a positive zero times S1, because anything times zero is zero. All right, the second thing is the use of MA, the negative MA. We use minus because it's a maximization problem. If it was a minimization problem, we'd use plus MA. So you have to pay attention to if it's a max or a min problem, one of the things that you have to pay attention to when setting it up. All right. So, what is m? Well, think of m as a very large number, an order of magnitude. If you remember, uh, a stands for an artificial variable. It's not real. So whenever it's in our basis, um, we use m to mean a very large number. Since we're dealing in, you know, 10, 20, we we'll keep our numbers small to keep the calculation simple. Think of m as millions. Whereas, you know, there'd be 4x1, well, 4 million x1 would be a lot bigger than 4. So it's an order of magnitude larger. And this is one of the key things. You have to keep track of it's a max or a min. So you know if to add or subtract your um, m from your artificial variable.